hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to make the online answer script evaluation and how to make the foil card entry so initially as usual what you do with our uh, regular valuation just have the answer keys ready and also have the question number and the corresponding answers and the marks for the key keys for the big answers also you can just give the have the big question numbers and the patterns of the marks and then also have a sheet and entry like a excel sheet with all the register number and the question number also so that we can make uh, the entry once you roll up the pdf op open the drive google drive where the answer scripts are stored open the video and then roll up and down to know the to read the answers and then mark the uh, mark the answers in the sheet so that it will be a safer say so that we can make the entry correctly into for the corresponding questions so now I'll show the steps one by one how to make the mark entry in the Google sheet so now let us uh, here just I have shown how to make an entry initially make a dummy entry with the zero for all the values for a student initially when you start here I started for the student number six so now just uh, I just entering zeros for all the cell value because every place has to be filled okay so initially better fill with the zeros for all the cells and then seeing the entry we have made in our hand sheet hand uh, hard copy just to make the values inside the this mark sheet for the respective question paper for the question and then so this is the way I am making the entry and then for the 5 mark questions I make the entry just I have differentiated the 1 mark, 5 mark and the 10 marks with different colors so that we can make the entry easily. Now the entry is over. So let me, I will show you how to make the total. So use the sum formula just to click on the sum. Let, let me first delete everything and show how to get the sum of the marks of every student. So go to the sum function, click on sum and then we'll get to two brackets and then go to go to the range we are going to sum up. So first student, first question till the 28th question, drag the mouse so that it will get into the complete range and then press enter. You will get the total of the first student and then use the excel sheet option to click and drag so that it will calculate the total for all the students and this way we have made the entry for all the students now this total entry can be copied to the file sheet so copy it and keep it then we can open the file sheet where we can just to paste the entry so while pasting the entry also we have to paste the values only the values because since we have used the formulas over here since we have used the formulas over here so we cannot so how to post the entry i am just copying from the previous mark sheet the question wise mark sheet and then copying there and then open the model file and then i am pasting you can just see paste special spaced values only otherwise it will get the reference error so paste the value paste once more for the word column also and let me tell you how to convert each number into word so paste values so paste once more in the word form word column also and then we can move to the next how to get the numbers how to convert the numbers into words so i'll just demonstrate it i have done the few entries before just i'm demonstrating for these entries alone so this is the just to select the range of the numbers where you are and then i am going to convert all these numbers into words so select the range of and then click ctrl f so you have to find one and then replace where to replace in a specific range so i am here having the range from this is the eighth column that starts from eighth row so i'm just giving us e eight 
and then and this is e13 and i may have some 100 values i am giving us e103 the range that means maybe some 100 students are there so find one and then replace with one and then i am giving replace all option so we can see the now the one is changed into one then i have to go for two so even though it, this may work as a tedious process when you have hundreds and 200 students wherever one is found it will replace by o n e wherever two is found it will replace by t w o and replace all so likewise i keep on adding for now five is there just i am using the next number so 8 is there so now we can now see the changes how this 8 is changed into the word so replace with 8 and then i'm giving replace so the only thing is carefully you have to set the range on which you have to go into change the values our range is only to in the eth column which is the numbers in words so just i have keep on adding replace all now 5 is changed now 0 has to be changed so once there is a 0 find 0 and then replace with z e r o 0 and then this range is fixed for the whole file sheet so once you fix the range in the file sheet that is enough okay so the system will replace only the values in the file code where the range is fixed not in all the other entries so this is very important here fixing the range is very important so likewise every number is converted into 9 now it is the converting 9 into n i n e i am typing and then replace all so that's all all the numbers are converted into words so this by this way we can there, there, there may be 100 or 200 entries you can make at a stretch you can make the changes in all the entries so now the numbers have been changed into words so now the file entries over now the next way it is to now it has to protect the file card so how to protect the file card if the file card is in the excel sheet option okay we have to convert into an google sheet and then we can apply the protection option so just i am using this is the in the xls format so go to file and then save as google sheet only in the google sheet the protection option works so i am changing it as a google sheet and then i am going to protect the range of numbers actually uh, generally we want, don't want to change the we don't want others to change the total value and the marks of the student so i can select the range even i can select the whole sheet also we can select the range also just i am showing how to select the range okay and then just you can see the protect range so just i am giving us that it is preserved that means no one can change so you have to keep in mind that only this is possible only in the google sheets so if it is now you can see it's a show a warning when editing otherwise restrict who can edit only you otherwise suppose i can i think other my colleague can change the marks or they are sharing the paper i can give their email id and their addresses and then i can give the permission for them also and it is saved so if i try to change the things it will say it is it has been protected for editing it will just give a message so that's how, how to protect the file card so that's all from the making the entry and then making the numbers into words and finally how to protect the file card so that no other can change the marks we have given for the students hope this may be helpful for you to make the online answer sheet evaluation effectively and do watch and even you can share your comments so that it, since it's a new platform for us we are working with youtube can share your comments in the comment box and thanks for watching